Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. Reprise de l'audience. We would like to now hand over to the prosecution to continue putting questions. La parole est rendue à l'accusation qui pourra poursuivre l'interrogatoire du témoin. Thank you, Mr. President. Just before I resume my questions, before we started this morning, one of the chambers, Greffier Clerk, asked, informed me that Mr. Mr. Rokoff's photographs here in town had been damaged. M'a dit que les photos de M. Rokoff ici en ville ont été endommagées. Il est question de contacter le DCK pour voir s'il a des exemplaires de ces photos. Nous l'avons fait. Un fichier électronique nous a été envoyé. Je ne l'ai pas consulté. Je ne sais pas si ce sont effectivement d'autres photos que celles qui sont au dossier. Mais comme nous avons été demandés de faire ça, nous allons circuler au DCK. Chamber and to all the parties, this electronic file. At lunchtime, I will look through it and see if there are are any different or new photos of Mr. Rokoff's, and if so, we'll we'll advise the court after lunch. But I wanted to immediately inform the parties and chamber of this. Mr. Rokoff. Mr. Rokoff, resuming our questioning. Reprenons. You indicated earlier that initially there was a positive mood in the city, but that at some point the mood changed. Can you tell us when it was that the mood in the city changed and what you meant by that? How the mood changed? De quelle façon est-ce que l'atmosphère a changé? Around midday. People started midi, leaving les gens the city, going out towards the edge. La ville, uh, en se dirigeant vers la périphérie. The uh, word going around was, and also being put out by cadre with loudspeakers, is you have to leave par the par city. The Americans are going la ville to parce bomb. Que les Américains les bombarder. Also. Uh, the mood changed considerably for me that day after the incident at the Prakat Melia Hospital, where Sid John Swain, Sidney Schoenberg, Dith Pran, and myself were taken by Khmer Rouge down to the river. I will get to that shortly. Did there come a point? In the day where you observed during the day, whether there was any looting going on by Khmer Rouge forces in the city, you observed the pillage perpetrated by the Khmer Rouge forces. If there was, I did not witness it personally. I did not witness it personally. Based on what you observed, did you see whether Khmer Rouge forces were attempting to protect and preserve the homes, businesses, and property of the residents of Phnom Penh? Les biens personnels des résidents de Phnom Penh. I cannot say that I saw that myself. An incident was related to me during my time in the French embassy by an Austrian cinematographer, Christophe Marie Troda. And he took 16 millimeter movie film, and one of the frames of his movie film rights was purchased. By Associated Press, and it is a photograph showing a Khmer Rouge cadre with a 45 caliber pistol and a zip tie. A photograph showing a Khmer Rouge cadre with a 45 caliber pistol in his hand. He had just fired it, and Christophe said it was. He was trying to get the people to move on from Khmer Rouge to not go into a store. Whether that was looting or not, I can't say. But he did not fire at anybody. And Christoph's film, that one frame, became one of the most published photographs of the fall of Phnom Penh. But no, I did not see any looting myself. I want to turn now to your trip to the Prayakhet Malay Hospital that you mentioned. 
à votre trajet vers l'hôpital Pierre-Kirk-Miller, uh, dont vous avez parlé. Vers quel moment y êtes-vous allé et pourquoi avez-vous décidé d'aller à cet hôpital I am not sure what time. I did not have a watch. I'm also very bad at keeping notes or captions for photos. But the reason I went to the hospital is, as I related earlier, I was leaving the intersection of Bonivong and Sionov, and a Peugeot, white Peugeot, stopped, and I got a ride with a person who worked at the Prekhet Milia Hospital. He was still in his hospital uniform. And he seemed extremely nervous, and even more so when he realized I was an American. And he told me the Khmer Rouge were emptying the hospital, everybody had to leave work. So I Got off by the Royale. Je suis descendu près du Royal. Dith Prawn, Sydney, John Swain. We went down to the hospital. John Swain. Nous sommes allés à l'hôpital. Went into one of the buildings. Nous sommes entrés dans un des deux bâtiments. Nous sommes entrés dans un des deux bâtiments. Il y avait du sang partout, des cadavres qui gisaient par terre. C'était glissant à cause du sang. Il y avait beaucoup de blessés. There was a Khmer Rouge cadre in a truck outside who had just lost an eye to shrapnel. I photographed him outside. I took a photo of him outside. Then, inside, and one of the French doctors was working on him. And then, went out the building, and the Khmer Rouge came into the front of the hospital. The Khmer Rouge sont arrivés en face de l'hôpital. The next five minutes were very intense. Les cinq minutes suivantes ont été très chargées de tension. They were asking Dith Pran. Ils ont demandé à Dith Pran. Questions. I cannot speak Khmer, so I don't know what was transpiring. They tried to get him to go away. He refused. He stuck with us. A Khmer Rouge with a pistol put it to my head. The two behind me moved aside. I guess so they would not get splattered. Les deux derrière moi se sont écartés pour ne pas être éclaboussés. Next thing, we were told to get into this armored personnel carrier, which formerly was a Lao Nol force armored personnel carrier. A government driver. Was in it. They put us in the APC. We drove. Maybe it's hard to say how far it was. It was. The hatches were shut. It was dark. Could have gone maybe a kilometer. Stopped. And they threw a naval officer in who was very nervous. He threw his wallet under the bench behind some ammunition cans. He was very very nervous. Derrière, sous la banquette, il était très nerveux. Nous avons circulé pendant quelques minutes. Stopped. Finalement, le blindé s'est arrêté. It seems to have uh, turned maybe 90 degrees or il whatever on its tracks and backed up. À 90 degrés. The rear hatch opened and the bright light came in. La Cubs porte s'est ouverte. La in. lumière du jour we est entrée. Nous avons vu la rivière. We are told to go. Stand under the remains of the Japanese bridge, and the Cambodian naval officer was led away. Whatever happened to him did not occur in my presence. We were detained there for maybe an hour. I'm sorry, I can't tell tell you approximately because. It's hard to get a handle on the flow of time in a situation like that. We were. Detained for a while, you could see many, many people streaming past. It was picking up the pace of people leaving. Was picking up. About an hour after being detained, we were told to go to the Ministry of Information. There was a truck. We were taken there. If I can stop you there, we'll get to the Ministry of Information. I'd like to go back now and ask you a few more questions about this incident in which you were taken away from the hospital. First of all, can you describe for us uh, the people that uh, took you into custody and put you into the armed uh, carrier, uh, who were those people? Uh, uh, Mr. Kim Rouge. How many Khmer uh, Rouge were there? 
In the immediate vicinity of us, few journalists, I would say a good half Autour dozen. When we were taken out the front gate to the APC, there were a number of Khmer Rouge on the street. I could not really give you a, an estimate. Uh, but there were about half a dozen with the group Mais that took us and put us in the APC. Le groupe de ceux qui nous ont conduit dans le blindé était composé d'environ six personnes. And question. Uh, who, at the hospital, who was in your group that was uh, taken? Uh, Uh, taken into custody by the Khmer Rouge along with yourself. Ont été emmenés par les Khmer Rouge à vos côtés. Myself, réponse. Il y avait Sydney moi, Schoenberg, Sydney Schoenberg, Dith Pran, Dith Pran, who worked for Sydney Schoenberg, qui travaillait pour Sydney and John Swain. Et John Swain. The driver also. Et aussi le chauffeur. Sydney's driver. I believe Sydney. his name was Sarun. Je pense qu'il s'appelait Sarun. And when you were first detained, Question. Quand vous avez um, été détenu, did the Khmer Rouge uh, want to take all four of you, uh, or were they uh, interested more in only some of your group? Vous arrêtez tous les quatre, ou bien étaient-ils plus particulièrement intéressés par certains membres de votre groupe? Probably Dith Prawn repeatedly telling them we were French journalists there to cover the victory uh, may have helped in them not separating us. It wasn't until a week later that the Khmer Rouge wanted the Americans separated from the rest of the people in the French embassy. But that day in the hospital and also the Japanese bridge, we were not separated. They were trying to get Dith Prawn to leave and he would not leave. I want to make a, uh, a reference, read to you an excerpt um, from John Swain's journal of this uh, event, uh, which is a document E3 slash 51, E3 slash 51. The page references are English S0000372. S0000378, Khmer, S0064, through 644707, and French 0059-7834. And uh, in his journal, uh, describing the, the events journal, that occurred there, he décrivant makes the following statement, Mr. Swain, quote, Mr. Pran explained Monsieur that Pran the Khmer Rouge had told him he was free to go, libre de aller, that they were only after the rich and the bourgeoisie, and the bourgeoisie. end of quote. Uh, does this refresh your recollection? Do you recall cela vous um, Mr. Pran, vous Deep Pran vous explaining Deep Pran at some point why the Khmer Rouge uh, were taking you into custody? Vous placez en détention. Uh, it was never explained to me why we were being taken into custody. I thought it was pretty obvious to myself. Je pensais que c'était tout à fait évident. And Question. you indicated that one of the Khmer Rouge soldiers pointed a gun at you. What type of gun? Vers vous. De quelle arme s'agissait-il? Well, it was very small caliber because I could look at the uh, bore, the barrel, and it was a revolver, and I could not identify the type. It was not a military handgun that I recognized. It was a revolver in small caliber. How close uh, was he when he pointed the gun at you? quelle distance était-il de vous lorsqu'il a pointé son arme dans votre direction? Well, he was maybe three feet away, and then when his ah, arm reached out, the gun was very close. Et quand il a tendu le bras, l'arme était très près de moi. Did the uh, Khmer Rouge Question. soldiers who Est -ce que les soldats um, Rouge took you into custody qui vous ont mis en détention, uh, did they have a commander? Avait un commandant. Uh, 
I could not ascertain who was in charge, je ne pas savoir but qui somebody était made chef. the decisions, uh, the decision to put us into the vehicle, de nous faire and dans then later at the bridge, tard, when we were released and told to, the, to go to the Ministry of Information, uh, somebody must relâché. have been in communication with higher up. On that was my assumption. D'aller au ministère de l'information, donc je suppose que quelqu'un avait été en contact avec des supérieurs. And Question. while you were in custody, Alors que vous étiez um, en détention, were any questions asked um, of your yourself on vous a posé or des questions? Mr. Swain Est-ce qu'on a posé Chamber des questions à Monsieur Swain um, ou de Chamberg? Est-ce que les soldats Khmer Rouge ont posé des questions? Uh, there was no intense questioning going on. The conversation was between Dithpran and the Khmer Rouge. I'm not in a position to understand what was being discussed. Sydney stated that uh, he's telling them we're French journalists to cover the victory. He told me that rather quietly, just so I would catch on. Just like Sydney got very upset and nervous when we were in the APC and I started talking in English and he says, don't speak English. You're French. Est devenu très nerveux lorsque j'ai commencé à parler anglais dans le blindé. Il m'a dit de parler anglais. The hour under the bridge, no interrogation, no nothing. They were satisfied we were journalists, and I guess waited for word on what to do. In the meantime, they took an interest in what was in our bags, or what was in Sydney's bag. They rummaged through his bag. One Khmer Rouge held up a big wad of hundred-dollar bills in one hand and uh, Sydney's underwear in the other. He put the money back in the blue handbag and kept the underwear. I guess the money had no value at that time to him. And I was worried they would be going through my camera bag next, and then we were told to get on the truck. I had my camera equipment and film I had shot with me. I was very fortunate because if it was not returned to me, I, it would have been all for nothing. On ne me les avait pas rendus, tout Do aurait recall, été fait en vain. Uh, whether Question. The Khmer Rouge who took you into custody, whether they les Khmer Rouges vous ont placé uh, en détention, to, um, learn whether any of you were Americans. essayé de savoir s'il y avait parmi vous des Américains. If they asked Dithpran these questions, I'm not aware. Ont posé la question à Dithpran, je sais and I did not speak English je pas in parlé front of them. En anglais devant It's eux. that simple. Aussi simple que cela. You mentioned question. that um, after you were put into the armed Après carrier qu vous a fait and transported, dans le blindé, that there was another vous avez dit uh, prisoner, someone y avait who un autre you indicated was from uh, the Navy. Qui était de la marine, uh, when, dit, when was it that he uh, joined or was put in custody with you? Uh, upon Réponse. leaving the Préquette Préquet Milia Hospital in the armored personnel Milia, carrier, we drove, and I couldn't tell you exactly where to because the hatches were closed, could not see out in any way. Avancer, je ne sais pas dans quelle direction, parce que les volets étaient tirés. Environ cinq minutes après avoir quitté l'hôpital, cet officier de la marine a été jeté à l'intérieur. On l'a poussé à l'intérieur du blindé. As I said, he immediately took his wallet and maybe his ID was in it, and he threw it under the seat. He got rid of it. How did you know that he was a naval officer? Because he failed to take his uniform off off that morning. And Question. you've described how you were taken to the riverfront. Vous avez emmené vers la rivière. Uh, were there more Khmer Rouge soldiers who met you when Khmer you arrived uh, at the location at the riverfront near the Japanese bridge? Près du pont japonais, au bord de la rivière. Uh, 
Yes, I could not give you an approximate number, but there were a number of Khmer Rouge there, just as all along the river very at regular intervals were Khmer Rouge. Uh, I would say in excess of two dozen Khmer Rouge in the immediate vicinity. Je dirais environ 25 Khmer Rouge juste à côté de l'endroit où nous étions. Uh, Mr. Rokoff, as it, it, it has been a, a long time since these events, uh, I want to read uh, a excerpt, another excerpt from John Swain's journal to have you give John you a chance Swain. to respond to this. Um, uh, Mr. President, this Monsieur is document E3-51, and the page references are English S00032-78. Uh, Khmer, Khmer S 00064-47-07 and French 00059-78-34. And this is uh, regarding the time that um, uh, the, uh, uh, the naval prisoner that you mentioned was uh, added uh, to your carrier. Votre groupe dans le uh, quote, we Je rode cite, through the streets, nous avons then stopped les and rues, picked up two more prisoners, Cambodians in civilian clothes. The big one civils. with a mustache le and crew cut wore a white t-shirt and jeans. The smaller man was clad in a sports shirt and slacks. Both were officers and quite as frightened as we were. The big man we recognized as the second in command of the Navy, end of quote. Le and de la I ask, read this to you to give, si refresh your recollection. Extrait, uh, what we want to hear from you today is your best recollection nous of events. Um, having heard this, um, does that re refresh possible? your recollection as to the number of um, law and officers who were picked up on your trip de uh, and ont été as to how they appeared when they were taken into the carrier? Et quant à l'apparence qui était la leur quand ils sont entrés dans le blindé. I remember the one réponse. officer who put his wallet souviens, under the seat. Il y avait uh, qui a mis I'm not sure. I'm, I'm hazy on that point. I was focused on the one guy sitting directly across from me and what he was doing. Moi. And he had like... Regardez ce I, I was sure he was military. Je suis sûr que but un regarding militaire. having the full uniform shirt on, no. Uh, Mais pants and uh, shoes il and t-shirt. But I did not know how high-ranking he was. Je ne sais pas quel était son I rang. don't know if Dithpran was able to identify Je ne sais him. Pas si Pran a pu you say third or fourth-ranking person, but I'm bad on names. Il était le troisième ou quatrième rang. Mais Thank you for that uh, clarification, Mr. Rokoff. Je ne connais pas bien les grades. And you indicated Merci. that uh, while you were being detained um, by the Japanese bridge, uh, that you started to see more people uh, leaving the city. Um, were you able to observe uh, at any time during the day um, whether, whether or not the Khmer Rouge were using a force or using threats um, in order to ensure and force people to leave the city. I, I did not see force used regarding these people who were leaving the city. Did you hear of from any people as to whether or not the Khmer Rouge were using force si to evacuate the city. Pour, uh, la ville. I heard a Réponse. number of accounts of that happening that evening as we connect with other foreigners who sought refuge in the French embassy on the 17th. Not the ones who were in the French embassy to include some journalists who were there before the 17th. They would not have witnessed that. There were some people who came in. Uh, 
sont Most les notably, some of the Pakistan, ethnic Pakistanis who lived here, Il many who went out on the highways, Highway 5, headed north, and then two or three days later would be sent back to Phnom Penh to go to the French Embassy. And they were giving some of the first reports of uh, killings out on the road, uh, being forced out, the separation of families, segregation into male female. Familles, These were the first femmes. eyewitness accounts that some of us journalists had heard of this. Que les ont But on the day of the 17th, uh, none of this was apparent to me in Phnom Penh. À Phnom Penh je à rien de tel. Uh, thank you. Now, you Question. indicated that at some point Vous avez dit you were um, moment, released from by the Khmer Rouge from Khmer Rouge the riverfront and that you then went to the Ministry of Information. Information. And I'd like now to, to turn to the uh, events uh, that you witnessed at the Ministry of Information at that time. Um, first, uh, do you recall uh, during that day uh, whether there Ce were radio broadcasts Uh, that called for law and order government officials to assemble at the Ministry of Information. De de se rassembler au ministère de l'Information. I was told later that evening Réponse. about the broadcast. I was not aware of it cette annonce plus tard earlier. En jour I'm going by what we were told at the Japanese bridge. We were told to report to the Ministry. But Upon getting off of the truck, the ride that was provided to take us to the ministry, I could see to the right of the building maybe two dozen former government officials on the left, and to the right were some Khmer Rouge. One of the La Nol regime officers was discussing, trying to make a point, Discuter, to the Khmer Rouge, présenter des Khmer arguments Rouge were aux Khmer Rouge. Watching. One Khmer Rouge was Khmer taking Rouge a photo of the journalists getting off the truck. I had qui a camera hanging around my Moi, neck. Un photo I didn't raise cou. it to my eye. I had a wide-angle lens. I took a photo just as the person was coming over to grab my camera equipment from me. Une photo took the cameras, two cameras, camera bag. But I had just taken the photograph that shows the Ministry of Information, La Nol Regime, j'ai pris What's une photo qui montrait the, le bâtiment et le gars took my camera equipment and du uh, régime de l'Onol et we were told to go to the French ils ont confisqué embassy, mon matériel photographique après uh, on nous a dit d'aller à l'ambassade et on m'a rendu mon sac the two cameras. avec cameras. mes pellicules I'm sure if they les saw me raise the camera to my face si and take the photo I probably lost the film j'aurais sans doute perdu la pellicule we were there about uh, five minutes Ten minutes, maybe at the cinq, most. Uh, Sidney Schoenberg, through Sydney Dick Braun, was talking to some people. I'm not sure who they on were. On a parlé avec and then a car came, came driving up, une voiture and out of the car came the last Prime Minister, Long Barrett, et, et de and cette his voiture, wife. Le Premier ministre, Long Barrett, et son they came over. There were a couple of Khmer Rouge with them. Ils sont venus, il y avait des Guns Khmer were not pointed at them. On a It was pretty obvious. On ne les a pas menacés par les armes, mais il était évident qu'ils étaient Sidney Schoenberg had a moment to Sidney talk Schoenberg with them. I wanted to get a pendant photograph, j'ai voulu prendre une photo, to lose my camera. mais they turned away and unfortunately all I had was a photo of the camera. They walked to the car. Ils se sont a minute after, a few minutes after, Longboret and his wife were driven away. We were told to go to the French embassy. We had to report to the French embassy. So on the way to the French embassy was the Hotel Royale, where we stopped in the, I stopped in the hotel to get a few things. I had like an emergency survival kit of sorts. If I can stop you there, yes. I'd like to go back now and ask le procureur, uh, a few si more questions about vous the time that you were at the Ministry of Information that you just described, uh, and then we'll, we'll go to the what happened with the hotel from after that. Um, and what I'd like to, Mr. President, at this point, Monsieur we'd like to play en fait, 
uh, uh, a video clip uh, um, that has been provided to the uh, video AV unit. Que nous avons remis uh, this is a, a short clip uh, uh, from the uh, uh, film Pol Pot, Killing Embrace, Pol Pot, uh, the Killing uh, Embrace, which is uh, D108 slash 32.2R. Uh, item 988 in the list of audio visual records uh, on Xilab, uh, which has been assigned an E3 number by the chamber, which is E3 slash 2355R. The film also is identified by an ERN V0017-2424. And the clip um, uh, that we have uh, is from the original, uh, runs from 25 minutes and 22 seconds to 26 minutes and 5 seconds uh, of the uh, original uh, video. Uh, this is, uh, if the video, if we could uh, have the video booth play the entire clip first without sound, uh, and then le premier extrait, uh, I will endeavor to have them replay and, and pause ensuite, at a certain point. But je leur at this de point, de if we could play, uh, play that video clip uh, for the witness Donc, to see. Si possible de, d'afficher vidéo en question pour le témoin. The president, you may proceed. Le président. Every booth unit oui, la uh, is now advised to ensure that the video clip is now Played back as requested. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to ask the video booth to replay and pause at a certain point. Je vais à la régie um, dans un instant one of the photographs here today you've already identified as one of yours. Mais une des Did you recognize any of the other photographs that were shown extrait, in this video déjà dit ce matin, était l'une des vôtres. Avez-vous reconnu d'autres photos dans cet extrait vidéo? Yes, réponse. many of them oui. are my photographs. La, une bonne partie de ces photos sont les miennes. And in particular, Question. did you recognize the uh, last photo um, that was shown for a period of time where there was a group of people in the camera pan from the right to the left sur on the la photo? Satard, il y avait did you recognize that photo? De gens à droite, euh, Du cadre. Yes, that is at the réponse. location oui. of the Ministry of Information. Une photo prise the au ministère de information. camera started panning from the right la of my photograph, showing the Khmer Rouge. You saw one Khmer along droite. with the camera ma taking photo, our photographs. Rouge, and then as it panned photo, further to the left, you saw la gauche, donc, on La Nol regime officials and you saw one person making points trying to bargain whatever and uh, that's that's part of the photograph the overall photo shows much more of an area but that is my photograph of the uh, I, I consider that a very important historical photograph the transition set the calendar back Illustrant une transition and et un retour just en so we're clear, uh, is this the photograph Question. that you described taking la photo uh, when you were at the Ministry of Information a few minutes ago, information. the photograph you took without celle raising your camera so you wouldn't be noticed? Sans apporter l'appareil photo à votre oeil pour ne pas, pour éviter 
que l'on se rende compte que vous prenez yes. une photo. Réponse. C'est exact. Did you, you've um, told us about uh, Long Beret's arrival at, at that Question. location. Uh, did you recognize uh, any of the other law Nol officials who had been gathered at the Ministry of Information? Have you recognized any of the other law officials who had been gathered at the Ministry of Information? No. Uh, many look familiar, no. but Certains as I'm a photographer familiers, and I'm not writing and interviewing people, I had no person-to-person -person person contact with many of these people. De or the ones I used personnes. to come in contact with et had already fled. En contact déjà pris la fuite. To uh, see if I can refresh your recollection, I'd like uh, to read uh, a couple of excerpts. J'aimerais lire quelques extraits. Um, from uh, some documents. First, before I do Le that, let me, uh, let me ask you, um, you've already indicated that Sidney Shanberg was there uh, during this Schoenberg event. Uh, was Mr. Swain also present Monsieur Swain uh, at this time? Lui aussi. Yes, regarding going to the Ministry oui. of uh, Information, it was the group of us that were abducted at the Prekat Milia Hospital, brought to the Japanese uh, bridge, and then told to report to the ministry. Let me uh, read to you uh, excerpts, both from, Question. first from John Swain's uh, journal, um, John Swain. his journal for the uh, 17th of April. Les notes a prises and this is document E3 slash 51 at English page S000-3278. Khmer S000-64-4709. French 0059-7835. And uh, in his uh, journal, Mr. Swain has the following donc, entry for uh, 4 p.m. on 17th of April. Quote, there were 50 prisoners lined up in front of the building. They included Lon Non, Marshal Lon Nol's younger brother, and one of the most corrupt, hated members of the old regime. There were several generals and Hong Sin, Director of the Cabinet of cabinet And I'd also like to read to you an excerpt from un uh, an article uh, that was written in May 1975 by Sidney Chamber, titled The City is Falling. Uh, this is document D365-1.1. D365 1.1.22 at English 0044490000 Khmer 00065631414 and French 00664010 the quote from Mr. Shanberg's article reads as follows, Donc, quote, de, When we arrived, about 50 prisoners were standing outside the building, among them Law Non, the younger brother of President Law Nol, who had gone into exile, and Brigadier General Chim Chun, who was close to the former president. Other generals and cabinet ministers were also there, very nervous but trying to appear untroubled. Mr. Rokoff, do either of these excerpts refresh your recollection as to law and law officials uh, who were present at the Ministry of Information when you were there. Yes, I'm not sure I can do that. I don't know if I can do La Nol's brother, La Nan, I was Nol informed of Nol, his presence there much later. At the time, I did not realize the significance of him being there. Pas rendu du fait que présent. 
à cet endroit. And I'd like to ask you just a few questions about the Khmer Rouge uh, soldiers who were present at the Ministry of Information. Uh, do you recall approximately how many uh, Khmer Rouge soldiers were there? A couple dozen outside the building. I could not tell you how many inside or behind. Et je ne saurais vous dire combien. Were they armed? Derrière le bâtiment. Question. Portaient-ils des armes? Yes. Réponse. But many of oui. the Khmer Rouge there had pistols. Mais not everybody had AKs. Mais la plupart des Khmer Rouge à Stos Nant euh, avaient des AK-47. And did you observe Question. whether or was there a commander or leader um, who was speaking on behalf of the Khmer Rouge forces at the Ministry of Information? At the time I took the photograph, the uh, La photo regime official was discussing, making his points emphasizing de, de some points. Any discussion des, between the des two arguments. elements stopped as soon as the foreign et journalists were taken off the truck and walked over there. And Sidney Schoenberg started talking to a Khmer who came up to him and started talking. I don't know the nature of their conversation. Um, Mr. President, if we could at this point, I would like to replay the same uh, video that we played a few moments ago, and this time pause, uh, if the video booth is able to do this, pause at the 32-second uh, point in the, in the video. Uh, so we would request that the uh, same video be replayed, and this time pause at 32 seconds. The President, you may proceed, and AV oui. booth officers are now instructed to make sure that the video clip is not put up on the screen for display. Soit fait pour que sur ait lieu au bon endroit. Thank you. Um, the individual who's shown uh, in uh, the middle, or close to the middle of this photograph, in front of the photographer, uh, is that the person who you were just referring to, who was uh, speaking on behalf of the Khmer Rouge at this gathering? Yes, that is correct. When I got off the truck and started walking towards the building, the building and I saw those people there, the only one conversing was the Lanol official on the left. The guy holding the paper, papers in his left hand, I did not notice him conversing with the other group. As soon as the journalist arrived, uh, whatever was going on between those two groups stopped. Ce qui se and the guy with the paper is avant, not the one fin. who was later talking to Sidney Schoenberg, it was someone else. Main, pas celui qui est allé à Sidney uh, thank you quelqu for clar clarifying that. If it's possible Question. to resume uh, the video and this time pause, uh, resume it from the 32 second mark and this time pause at la the 41 second que uh, mark, uh, Mr. President, if we could do that. The President, you may proceed. Every post officer oui. is now instructed to ensure that the, the portion is put up on the 
display. puisse projeter l'extrait en question. Uh, thank you. Now, a few minutes ago, you indicated uh, that there was a representative from the Law and Noel officials who was speaking. Um, can you identify him uh, in this at this part of the video clip? Le gouvernement de Law and Noel parlait lorsque vous êtes arrivé au ministère. Pouvez-vous l'identifier sur la photo? I. Do not know who that individual is, Je but he is the personne. one that was conversing oui, with the Khmer Rouge. He was making some points, Il emphasizing points, uh, like his right hand, uh, the finger hitting the palm of the left hand. He was trying to make a point, droite, and then it all stopped once they saw us coming towards them. I'd like now to read another excerpt from uh, John Swain's journal regarding Question. this event. Uh, this is document E3 slash 51 uh, at English page S0000327879. Khmer S0064475. And French 0059789. 78-35, which reads as follows, quote, At the Information Ministry, a man Information in black, about 35, and clearly a leader, bawled through a bullhorn at the prisoners, dividing them into three groups, military, political, and ordinary civilians. The Khmer Rouge training Khmer their Rouge guns on them were tough, strong looking in jungle green Mao hats and the inevitable Ho Chi Minh sandals. Each one was a walking arsenal. And quote, un arsenal uh, were you able to observe uh, at the Ministry of Information whether the law and no, or whether the people there had been divided into si groups? Les groupes ont été divisés si le groupe a été divisé en trois. I could not see where they were divided into groups. I did not see that going on during the brief period we were at the ministry. Je n'ai pas vu cela arriver pendant le, la brève période où nous étions au ministère. Now you indicated um, that while you were present, question, uh, Prime Minister a long beret Vous avez dit arrived avoir vu uh, at the Ministry of Information. Can you describe his appearance and demeanor uh, when he arrived and surrendered to the Khmer Rouge? Son apparence et son comportement à son arrivée. He did not surrender to the Khmer Rouge there. He was brought there by the Khmer Rouge. They took him at a prior location. Il l'avait emmené à un premier endroit. I mean, I had heard over the next few days stories dire, about it and where he was taken. But anyways, when he was brought to the ministry, he was under their control. Est arrivé au ministère de I était could not see who was driving the car. But anyways, he got out of the car. La voiture, mais and then they took him away in the same car. Ils l'ont emmené dans la même voiture. 20 minutes later. I'm, I'm not sure the time frame. Je ne saurais vous dire exactement la période de, de temps qui s'est écoulée. Did you... Uh, receive any information Question. later as to what happened su, to Long Beret or the other uh, officials de who de had been gathered Beret at the Ministry of Information. Qui avaient été rassemblés au ministère. I don't think any of us realized immediately after that what Je ne pense happened pas que to them. Nous nous étions rendu compte and when we were told to suite, leave for the French embassy, uh, uh, and those people France. from the law and regime were at the ministry. Gens du uh, du they were taken maybe away north of us, but what happened after that we did not Donc, see. I've heard stories about that, but that's nous étions, another mais matter. Pas vu. We did not see it ourselves. Certaines choses à propos de leur sort, mais je ne pas vu moi-même. What did you hear as 
in term, as to what Question. happened with them. Et Uh, that they were all marched to the Circle Sportive, which is the site of the current American Embassy, qui est à côté de where they were bludgeoned to death. Actuelle, et ont été à mort. That is what we heard. Ce que nous avons dire. Do, do you recall who you Question. heard that from? Savez -vous de qui vous no, I can't say we heard it while still in Cambodia. It was much later. And from other sources, I'm not aware of. C'était beaucoup plus tard, et c'est de la part d'autres sources. Mr. President, I'd like now to read, um, present and read from a document E3/604. Je souhaite à présent citer le document E3/604. This is a uh, 2nd of November 1975, Bangkok Post article titled Executions Admitted. And uh, if I may, I'd like to present, put that on the screen and present a copy to the witness. Execution reconnue. The President, <coughs> you may proceed. Le President, allez-y. Mr. Uh, Rokoff, the document I'm Rokoff. handing you is a article that appeared at the Bangkok Monsieur Post on the 2nd le of November, Rokoff. 1975. Uh, there is an article Post titled Executions Admitted, which executions admitted ou includes execution. the following statement, quote, Autorisé. Deputy Cambodian Prime Minister Ng Sari confirmed yesterday that two top leaders of the former Phnom Penh regime had been executed de Pen by the People's Council after the Khmer Rouge victory. The confirmation by Ng Sari that both former Premier Long Bure and Lon Non, younger brother of former President Lon No, had been executed came after several unconfirmed reports earlier filtering out of that country. Uh, end of quote. Do you recall, um, do you recall being aware of a statement issued by Ng Sari later in 1975 confirming the executions of Long Bure and Long Non? Uh, this is the first I saw of this article. Unfortunately, in those days, it was difficult to read newspapers from overseas, but I heard of this some time later. Uh, sorry, I can't give you a better answer. And after you left the Ministry of Information that day, did you ever see Long Bure or Long Non again? No. No. I want to turn now to um, what took place after you left the Ministry of Information on the 17th of April 1975, and you were starting to tell us how you went uh, to the Hotel Phnom. Um, could you tell us uh, now what happened uh, when you returned to the Hotel Phnom uh, from the Ministry of Information on the 17th of April. Minister Le Pnom, après avoir quitté le Ministère de l'Information le 17 avril. Yes, I picked up sort of an emergency oui. survival kit. Mon, mon had kit some vitamins, uh, some food, y avait des vitamines, cans of food, uh, en conserve, number of things in it. Uh, certains effets à l'intérieur de ce sac. And I'm just going to take that with me to the French Embassy, and uh, Sidney Schoenberg went to his room to get a few things. I had a lot of junk food and canned food in my bag, and a couple of bottles of soda. And Sidney went to his room to get notes, a few other things, and then we walked 
north towards uh, donc the French Embassy. Vers le nord dark. It just got de dark. We were told to get to the French Embassy by 5 o'clock. We were late. Fallait se rendre à de France avant 17 heures et nous étions en retard. And as we're marching toward, walking Alors towards the French Embassy, uh, many, many hundreds of Khmer Rouge soldiers were marching single file southward on Monty Park. So we were passing them. I had taken photos of Khmer Rouge line on the left and the civilians on the right headed north. Les soldats Khmer Rouge à gauche et les civils à droite et il y a quelques quelques journalistes dans le groupe. We get to the French embassy and nous sommes arrivés à l'ambassade de France. 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 Nous sommes arrivés à
The chamber has noted the request by the co prosecutor for additional time granted to put question tendant à disposer d'un temps supplémentaire pour interroger ce témoin. Jusqu'ici, les questions et réponses étaient pertinentes et portaient bien sur les événements et les faits de l'espèce dans le cadre du premier segment du procès. Dès lors, la Chambre accède à la demande de l'accusation. And the legal lawyers for the civil parties to put questions Ainsi qu'à la demande to the des quoi avocats principaux. Until the Ils first section or session of the demandé. afternoon before Et the first adjournment. Le témoin jusqu'à la And pause the qui est observée au milieu de l'après-midi. En même temps, la défense de Kiosampan a demandé à ce que son client soit autorisé à suivre l'audience depuis la cellule temporaire pour de santé. Il a été indiqué que le chambre venait de sortir de l'hôpital. Dans ces circonstances, la Chambre accède à cette demande. M. Kiosampan est donc autorisé à suivre l'audience depuis la cellule temporaire, et ce, pour le reste de la journée. Le document de renonciation devra être remis à la Chambre. Le document qui devra porter la signature aux empreintes digitales de Kiosampan. Holding cell where Mr. Kilsampon will retire to momentarily will uh, be well connected uh, so that Mr. Uh, connected to the AV audio visual equipment so that he can observe the proceedings from there. Security personnel are now instructed to bring Mr. Kilsampon to his cell. The court is adjourned. So I'm going to